Happy holidays everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Easy Cooking with Sarah's. Today I'm going to make chocolate chip cookies, but I'm going to use different items with the same batter. So I'm going to make rum raisin cookies, chocolate chip cookies, and Italian fig cookies with the same batter. So it's so simple, so easy. So if you're ready, come join me. So we're going to add all the dry ingredients and set aside. So this is two and a half, two and a half cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda. You mix all together and you set aside. Cream the butter, two sticks of butter, which this is eight ounces, one cup of brown sugar, half cup of granulated sugar. So you don't have to have all the sugar melted. You just combine everything, every uh, the two ingredients together because you will have to beat it again. Okay, so this is combined. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add two eggs. Eggs are combined. Now we're going to add, you can add the dry, dry ingredients little at a time. This is the flour, but I'm going to add all together. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Yummy. This is so good. So all you're doing there is combining everything together. You don't need to over beat it. Now, what I'm going to do, I told you I was going to make three different type of cookies with the same batter. So my neighbor in Trinidad, wife, Susie, now lives in New Jersey, told me this trick. She said put everything at the side and you scoop it up from the side. Like I put the chocolate chip there. I'm going to put, this is actually rum cran raisin. I soaked it in rum to give it a, a kick. It's Christmas time. We're all drinking and having fun. <laughs> so I put that at the side. And I'm going to, because this is a thick paste, I'm going to take out a little bit of the mixture and put it aside. So I will add this Italian fig. It's about six figs. And I blended it up. Look, we're gonna mix that together in some extra, some of the dough. I take a little more. This is the fig cookies. That's one done. That's the dough for that. So I'm gonna get a melon bowler and make some scoops and put it on my parchment paper tray. So I have a, a bigger mel melon bola and a little one. What you could do, you can put a little bit of, a little dash of oil there so that it will come out easily from the, from the melon bola. Okay, you can use two spoons like I used to use, but I think this is easier, but I'll show you the other method of these spoons. So I'm going to put the chocolate chip, some of it first, then take up some of the dough so that the chocolate chip will be on top. Just roll it in. Put it like an inch and a half apart. I have my oven preheating to 300 degrees. That's the chocolate chip we are going to do now. The rum cran raisin cookies. I made this before and this was a hit. 
you soak the cran raisin. Again, when you're scooping up, try to scoop up the raisins first, so like a little bit of the raisin. So this is the other method. You take a little bit in the spoon and you, you put it like that. Right, so that's two sets. We're gonna do a little bit of the Italian fig cookies. Same dough, simple. Cookies are not hard to make. All right, guys. See you in about 15 minutes. Check out my cookies in the oven. Our first batch is done. This is the, the rum cran raisin cookies. So now we have to cool it on a cooling rack, which is this. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Here's the second batch. This is the chocolate chip cookies. So we're gonna cool this also. Third batch, Italian fig cookies. So guys, let me see which one. Hmm. Let me try the cr rum cran raisin cookies. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Wow, it is with the rum. Anything with rum gives it an amazing flavor. This is delicious. Let's try chocolate chip. Look at that. Soft and moist. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But it's so delicious, so yummy. Just two and a half cups of flour, two sticks of butter, which is eight ounces, a couple other items, and it makes different batches of cookies. You don't need to buy. You don't need to buy with artificial flavors and things like that. Make it whole. Set your oven for 300 degrees, not like a lot of cookie recipes say 325, 350. Set it for 300 and get the good um butter not margarine or anything just real butter is makes it the best if you enjoy my channel my recipes my dishes please don't forget to share subscribe share like comment let me know what else you want me to make something easier thank you see you around see you soon